Hi guys, it's Mrs V. Um, have you ever looked at a painting and ever thought that you could just step right into it? Well, what you're looking at is an artist technique using perspective, which is a way of representing 3D objects or landscapes on a 2D surface. So making things look deeper, longer, far away. Um, and it's really clever. And as you can see on this video, you can see some examples. Okay, so now you know a little bit more about perspective, we can all have a go at drawing. So the secret to perspective, and don't tell anyone, is a triangle. Now all we need to do is so get your paper, you can pause the video if you want to to get your piece of paper. Just a pencil will be good, um, or a colouring pencil. I'm going to use marker, but just because you guys can see it. So if I turn it this way around, once you've got your piece of paper, get your get your pen and you want to do a vanishing point in the center. So if I just in there we go, that would help Lizzie. Right, put your vanishing point in the middle. Now your vanishing point is kind of like what it says on the tin. It's the point in your picture where everything vanishes, where everything will go to. So then you want to draw your triangle. So start from the left hand corner and go up and draw your line right to that vanishing point. And again, from this corner, right to that vanishing point. There we go, done. Leonardo da Vinci, eat your heart out. There's your, oh there we go, that's better. There you can see, I've got my little triangle, or big triangle. And that's going to be my basis, the light's very, very okay, um, of your picture. So then, now you've got that app, you can do whatever you like with it. So you can, um, let's think, we can make this into a road. So we could do some little marks. Fading into the distance, you know, like in the middle of a, a road. You could do that fading into the distance you could make it so you, you have some a mountain range you could then do a line across touching the top of your vanishing point to make your horizon like that you could do some mountains in the background These are all very basic. You can, I know you're going to be so much better than this and make it absolutely amazing. Um, you could, in year five, we're doing about the Highwayman poem. Um, and we are looking at doing spooky kind of drawings. So you could make some big trees on the side, some spooky looking trees. Oh my goodness, that's really bad. Let me just kind of give you an idea on the side. But just have a go with it and make it really fun. Um, I might even set up a little competition. For any really, really good ones that have really used their imagination. So that's really, really basic. But you get the point to make it really, really spooky. You could do um, a lake or a river running off into the distance. I've seen people do tunnels. Really spooky tunnel with that vanishing point is the, is the light at the end of the tunnel. So anything that you think would really reflect your personality, if you've got any colours at home, then make it colourful. Take a picture, if you can, um, and put it on Seesaw for the attention of me, Mrs V, to your teacher. So I can have a quick look at them um, and maybe we can make a competition. I think that would be quite cool. So have a go anyway. Any questions, get in contact with your teacher. But just have a go and have fun with it. This is not part of your lesson plan or anything like that. This is just a bit of fun. And if you want to have a go, then do. I would love it. If not, that's okay too. These are some examples that I found on the internet that are really good. But have a go, be creative and most of all stay safe guys and I'll see you very soon.